What's up guys, MGH here and finally welcome back to my Valencia career mode. As you guys know, my computer has been broken, I've been unable to, uh, to continue this series. However, I still don't have my PC. What I'm going to be doing today is basically filling in the void. Um, basically guys, I had two episodes on my computer that for me, I had to upload before I continued because they were such big episodes um, at the start of Season 2, just before this game against Real Madrid. Um, and unfortunately, I still can't upload those. So it's been too long now. I cannot wait anymore. We're just going to continue and I'm going to explain to you what happened in those two videos because the reason I really wanted to upload them was because I did something that I think is one of the best things I've done in career mode so far. And I thought, you know what, it's worth waiting. Uh, unfortunately, it's taking so long to fix my computer that I've just decided I'm going to go ahead and continue with the series and, uh, like I said, just tell you what's gone on. So basically, guys... I made a very, very big signing, an absolutely huge signing, 50 million plus, and I'm going to show you exactly what that was. So I'm going to go into my transfer negotiations. Are you ready for this, guys? I know it's not as epic as it could have been. You know, I really, really enjoyed making those videos with all the transfer negotiations. I tried players into the deal. I tried more money, all those things, and I can't show you, so I'm going to have to explain it. But here we go, negotiations. David Silva has joined Valencia. He has come back to Valencia and look how much I paid. 55 million euros. I know, absolutely crazy. I could not get him for a penny cheaper. Like literally guys, if I do get my PC back soon and the footage isn't gone, you know, it might be that it's all wiped. Um, if I do have it, I will show you that video still um, or parts of it where you can see me negotiating. You'll see. It was the hardest deal I've ever done in this career mode. It was ridiculous. I think I sent and received about five different counter offers. It was just crazy. We also got Jackson Martinez from Porto. Absolutely mental. I got him for free because I offered Rodrigo. Now, again, this is another reason I really wanted to upload those videos before I continue. Now, I explained in those videos why Rodrigo, I felt, was um, a good swap. I personally don't think Rodrigo is that good in this game. He's been okay for me, but I wanted a proper out-and-out -out striker who doesn't play on the wing sometimes, and that was Martinez for me. And look, I mean, look at those stats. How can you say no to that? A straight swap. Rodrigo for Martinez. We have a new striker. There you can see Silva's stats as well. I mean, do I need to say anything more? This guy is like the ultimate central attacking midfielder. Goes perfectly into my team. We also signed a new centre-back, guys. We went with Hector Moreno. He's been linked with many different clubs around the world at the moment. And I thought, I need a left-sided centre-back. So I went and got him. This guy looks to be a very, very good player. We also brought back Zuccellini on loan from Man City. So those are the four deals that I made in those two videos. Literally, the first episode was all about Silva. I just could not sign him. And uh, it took me pretty much, I think it was 20 minutes... Um, to get down to 55 million. It was just crazy. It really was. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that soon. So I'm sorry it's not as epic as it could have been, guys. But at least now we can start again into Season 2. And uh, to kick off this episode, we've got Real Madrid in the Super Cup. Two legs. The first one is away. Hopefully we can start this season off with a bang. I can't believe this, but Moreno is injured already. I'm not sure how long it was. It's been a good few days since I actually you know, got to this point. So I will check that after this game. But unfortunately, he cannot make his debut. Um, so up front, we've got Martinez and Paco with Silva behind them. Should be very interesting to see how he gets on. But otherwise, it's the usual 3-5-2. We're playing on Legendary. We're at the Bernabeu. Let's see if we can do some damage to the best team in Spain. So here we go, guys. Finally, I'm actually playing with Valencia. I've been so, so stressed out with this whole PC situation. Um, but finally, we are getting back into it. But what a way to kick off Season 2 against Real Madrid. I would very much like to win the Super Cup. It's two legs, though. I'm aiming for at least a draw here. So then I can bring them back home to the Mestalla. What the hell? What? Wait, what, 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 what? What just happened? Sammy Kadira just got a red card. I was busy turning up the volume on my, my monitor and I didn't see this. Oh my god, he's got sent off for that. That is ridiculous. Seven minutes in, guys, and Madrid are down to ten men. Kadira is off and they are bringing on... Who the hell is that? Martinez here to Silva. Is that not a foul? Yep, it is. We've got a free kick and a very good position now. Get this on target. Oh, bollocks, that was way off. 
Real Madrid are now struggling. Second versus first, of course, so they know that I'm dangerous too. Oh, look at that. Pepe got ruined. Get it across. Martinez. Oh, my God. How has he got the block in there? That was so, so fortunate for them. No. No way. No, no, no. Holy shit. This ball from James Rodriguez. I can't believe that. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. So we find ourselves 1-0 down despite having the man advantage. Come on, Martinez. Get in that space. This is nice. Come on. What are we going to do with it here? Paco. Oh, Parejo. Finish this. Yes, get in there. Left foot. 1-0 already, guys. This first half is actually insane. Absolutely insane. Great little pass there between the two strikers. And Parejo is always going to score from there. You wouldn't know they're down to 10 men. They're still so good. It's so frustrating that. That's offside. That was offside, ref. Thank you very much. Silva's made a decent start, by the way. I just uh, can't seem to get him into good positions at the moment. But that's all right. End of the first half, guys. It's one all. In the second half, I'm going to take advantage of this. Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake. That is my defending, guys. Oh, for God's sake. So now we're losing 2-1. I mean, that turn there from Benzema, that, that is legendary for you. You know, I just didn't see it coming. So um, I'm going to bring on Guardado. I just want to give him a try. Obviously, I haven't used him yet in this career mode. I'm also going to take off Perez and bring on Gomez, a bit more strength in midfield. Uh, is there anyone else I want to bring on right now? I might try Arujo, you know, the youngster that was on loan. Come on, David Silva. That's nice. Out to the wing. Come on, Gaia, get a good ball in. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad. Yes, get in there. His first touch. Look at this for a cross and the header. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. Oh, shit. It's Aguero. Oh, no. Oh, for... I can still do this. Get the ball in. Oh, my God. Gomez, come on. No. I think that's it. Don't blow the whistle, ref, please. Maybe just one more attack if I can win the ball. No. I'm going back to the 4-4-2 diamond. I think I might get a little bit, you know, a bit of a better result possibly if I do this. Um, I think this is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to put Mustafi into the main centre-backs, swap them around. And at right back, Fernandez will come in. So this is the lineup I'm going to be using this time. Let's see if we can get a better result because this time we are at home. Yes, this is good. This is very good. Here's Paco. Cut inside with the fake shot. Hit it. Wow, what a block that is. Real Madrid will be defending like that the whole game, I'm sure. I don't know what it was about Rodrigo. Maybe he just didn't suit my play style, but I struggled to score with him. And uh, with Martinez, I th I'm hoping it's going to be a bit better. Can I get the ball in here? Yes, I can. Martinez is there, but the header is pathetic, man. Yes, go, 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 go. Oh, that was such a good bit of skill, but Ramos once again. And that is the end of the first half. Still nil-nil, still 3-2 in aggregate. It looks like they are going to be parking the bus in the second half. Very difficult to break them down, but I think we'll get there, you know. We've got David Silva, for Christ's sake. He can make something happen, surely. David Silva playing well, but I am going to take him off and give him a rest. I'm going to bring on Guardado and put Parejo as the cam. I'm also going to take off Paco and bring on Arujo, who obviously came on in the last... Uh, the last leg and scored the equaliser to make it 2 all. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Come on, Parejo. Yes. No way. Arujo, can he do it again? No freaking way. Can he? Oh, Casillas with another save. Over to Faguli. Hit it, son. Oh, it was an absolute rocket, but it's just gone over the bar. No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, they hit the bar twice. They've hit the bar twice there. That... That is the universe looking down on me right now. I need to hit this ball up. I need to get the ball down to feet. Come on. That's not going to happen. No way. I can't believe I'm going to lose this. Please, come on, give me the ball. Oh, freaking referees blowing their goddamn whistles. And that is it. The Super Cup goes to Real Madrid. A nil-nil draw in the second leg means they win 3-2 in aggregate. Anyway, we've got a transfer here, offer here for Coles Hill. And uh, what? <laughs> what? No way. Aston Villa have just asked to sign him. That is freaky. That is actually freaky. What the fuck? Well, I don't want to get rid of him. I think he's brilliant on this game. So 
Just because he's gone there in real life doesn't mean I have to do it in career mode, right? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll stall it and I'm going to leave it down to you guys. So in the comments, guys, should I... Oops, I don't want to do that. Should I sell heal to Aston Villa to make it realistic or should I keep him? And also, guys, if I show you my transfer budget, you'll see here I've got about, I'd say, another 8 million left to get an, another player. So if I show you the squad right now, you can see the bench there. Is there anyone you think that I should be able to, to sign that will actually benefit the club? Because I've got quite a good few players now. Just let me know in the comments below if you think I should be signing anyone else. And uh, I'll be greatly appreciative of any suggestions. So thank you for watching this again. I apologise for not uh, being able to show you the first two episodes of Season 2 because my computer's still broken. But we are going to get it back soon. And maybe I'll do like some highlights in the video of those two episodes. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave a like rating for the first episode back in Season 2. And I will see you next time.